Hello everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, you will see how you can connect your Facebook with your email such that as and when you capture a lead from Facebook lead ads, the contact details and the details of that lead will be delivered to any of your team member via your email account so that that team member can further communicate with that lead and convert the lead into customers. So guys, the lead generation is not enough. You have to communicate with those leads and convert them into your customers. And this automation will help you in doing that. Let me show you how. So this will be the flow of this automation guys. Here you can see you just have to uh, capture a lead from Facebook lead ads and the details of the same lead will be delivered to any any one of your specific team member automatically through your Gmail account. All right. As an email. So guys, this will help you in saving your time. You, you don't have to manually uh, sort out the details of the lead and you don't have to manually send these emails as and when the lead is going to be captured, the details will be delivered via email automatically. Okay. okay. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is anyone can set up this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge and very few easy steps. So guys, let's set up this automation together. So guys, to set up this automation, first of all, you need to reach here on the dashboard of Pabli connect application. And to reach here, you can use this link pabli.com slash connect. And we have pasted this same in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pavli connect account in just two minutes by clicking on the sign up free button and you will get hundred free automation tasks for every new month. Okay. So uh, sign up right now and then log in to reach here on the dashboard. And guys here, you have to create a workflow for that. Just click here on this create workflow button and here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as Facebook leads to Gmail. Okay. Right. So after giving the name like this, you just have to click on create and you can see your workflow pages loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will see the trigger and the action. So automation is going to work on these two things. Trigger is the happening of that event, which is going to trigger or start this workflow. And the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be uh, generation of a lead or capturing of a lead from Facebook lead ad and the action towards that trigger would be to send the lead to any specific team member via Gmail. Okay. So first of all, you need to set up the trigger from here. You will find this Facebook lead ads, uh, icon. So you have to select it from here and then the trigger event, select this new lead instant one. Okay. So it will trigger when a new lead is submitted. All right, so now click on connect and here you can see we have this add new connection option option. So if you're making the connection for the first time, you can select this or if you're using Pabli connect uh, and you have already made a connection, you can use the existing connection also. Okay. So now click on connect with Facebook lead ads and that will bring you to the login window. If you are not logged in in Facebook as I have already logged in guys, it just connected. Okay. Here it is asking for the pages name. So guys, uh, if we have pages on Facebook on which we are running the leads and we have a lead generation form attached with that ad. Okay. I can show you from the Facebook lead ad testing tool in that testing tool. You can see we have the pages name and the forms name. So this is a page I have in my Facebook named as Pavli connect. And this is the form attached with this page named as Pavli connect only. And from here you can, sh I can show you the preview of this lead generation form. This is a kind of generation form I have created. Okay. So I am going to select this page here from this list. It will show you all the pages that you have created in inside your Facebook. From here you have to select the page, which is this Pabli connect. Okay. And you can see the lead generation form got uh, uh, automatically selected because we have only one form attached here, right? Now let me create a test lead here. And after that, we are going to capture the data of that test lead here in our workflow. Okay. So first here you have to click on this save and send test request button and it will start showing this waiting for the webhooks response. Now guys, I'm going to uh, fill this form on behalf of any test lead 
and the data of that lead will be captured here let me show you here I am putting the name as let's say Samir Samir Sharma okay the name uh, this is the name and this is the email ID of this person okay so gender is this this is the phone number okay now I'm going to click on next and I'm clicking on submit and you can see thanks you're all set a new test lead has been generated here let's check in our workflow if we got the data of that test lead captured or not and here you can see in the response section we got the data captured here is the created date and time of the generation of lead here you can see the first name of the lead last name email id gender phone number everything is here right now guys i want to send an email to my, uh, any of my team member any specific team member who is handling these leads and communicating with them to convert them okay for that i am using gmail application so from the section step select gmail and the action event would be send email click on connect from here select add new connection then click on connect with gmail from here select that email id by which you are sending that email okay then give some additional access to public and just click on continue here and you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected with gmail here it is asking for the recipient's email address so uh, we are sending this email to this person no we are not sending this email we are saying <laughs> So guys, we are sending this email to my team member. So I have to put the email ID of my team member here like this. Okay. So I have filled the email ID here. I do not want to put someone in these BCC or BCC. If you want to put someone, you can enter the email addresses here. Here you can, uh, add a sender's name so i'm just in the sender's name i'm going to put uh facebook ad, uh, lead ads okay you can put any person's name in the subject i'm going to type new lead captured right here uh, I'm leaving this reply field blank and in the email content type I'm keeping the content plain here in the email content I have to type the main email that I want to send a standard email here uh, it is asking for the file name so we are not attaching any attachment here in the email so I'm going to I am not going to use these two fields okay and let me type an email here for my team member so guys this is the email i have typed for my team member whose name is roger binney okay so here you can see i have written a new lead has been assigned to you please take a look at the details below and reach out as soon as you can try to focus on asking them questions about their needs needs based on the information below okay so this person is going to nurture this lead and i'm sending this leads detail to this person to roger binney and here I'm going to attach or map some data that I have received from the first step. You can see as I have clicked here, it is showing me here in the drop down the first step that is Facebook lead ad step where we have received the data of my lead here like this. Okay. In this response. So this data I'm going to map here like this. Let me show you just click here where you want to place the data. And when you click here, uh, you will see this Facebook lead ad option in the drop down and from here only. First of all, I'm going to map the name of the person that I have received, which is this Samir. Let me map the full name. This is the name. Okay. And you can just put it here that we have received the details like this. Okay. This is the name. Here I'm going to map the email. So you'll find the number here like this. And the last thing is the gender. Okay. So these are the details I am sending to my team member. Okay, you will find the gender details here like this. Okay, and when you map the labels like this, what happened in real time after setting up this automation as and when you are going to capture the lead, these labels are going to change automatically, dynamically, 
एंड न्यू ई मेल विल बी डिलीवर्ड विद द न्यू डिटेल्स टू दिस पर्सन ओके दैट्स वाई इट इज नेसेसरी टू मैप द थिंग्स राइट एंड आई कैन शो यू हाउ द ई मेल इज गोइंग टू लुक लाइक एज आई हैव एक्सेस टू दिस ई मेल अकाउंट सो हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन सेव एंड सेंड टेस्ट रिक्वेस्ट एंड दिस ई मेल विल बी डिलीवर्ड टू माई टीम मेम्बर हु इज रॉजर बिन्नी ऑन दिस ई मेल एड्रेस ओके सो हेयर आई एम क्लिकिंग ऑन सेव एंड सेंड टेस्ट रिक्वेस्ट सो दिस इज द रिस्पॉन्स वी हैव रिसीव एंड यू कैन सी अ न्यू ई मेल इज रिसीव हेयर जस्ट नाउ द सेंडर्स नेम इज फेसबुक लीड एड्स द सब्जेक्ट इज न्यू लीड कैप्चर एंड द ई मेल इज दिस हेलो रॉजर बिन्नी अ न्यू लीड हैज बीन असाइन टू यू प्लीज took a look at the details and these are the details you can see these are the same details that i have mapped here in the workflow like this samir saying samir sharma email okay and these are the same things that got placed here automatically so this is how it is going to work this is how the emails is going to be delivered automatically and we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually after that as and when you are going to capture any lead from facebook this email is going to be delivered to your team member automatically and guys the good part is you can use the same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free pabli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel